The Backstreet Boys dish on all of their success. The Backstreet Boys celebrated their 20-year anniversary over the weekend, and Clever was on hand at the Fonda Theater in Los Angeles to help honor the fellas on such a huge milestone. We also chatted with Nick Carter and Howie Durow about their longevity in the entertainment business, where they took us down memory lane and opened up about how the chemistry between all of them has changed since the 90s. Take a look. I think it's better. It's better. More mature. Yeah, because, you know, when I was 17, 16, 17, and going through hormonal imbalances and changes, you know, I would, yeah, I would, uh, if the guys would say something, I would have a hot head, and I would, we would get into fights, and I wasn't, hey, you, you can't expect a 17-year-old to, to relate to a 25, 26-year-old person, you know what I mean? It's difficult. So uh, it's kind of like a family in a lot of ways, but now I guess it feels like the I guess the gap is sort of closed to a certain degree. And, Absolutely, yeah. that definitely happens when you get older. That mm -hmm. gap decreases, I think. Absolutely, so we share. There's more respect for one another. I think. Cool, cool. Right. very cool. They've really grown up, yet the 15-year-old inside of me thinks they are still as cute as ever. The guys also went into detail about what they attribute all their success to. Check it out. I think you know, first of all, the bond that we have with each other. Um, you know, the communication that we have with each other is, I think, is what's kept us, you know, able to get past the, the moments of the, you know, the, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those kind of things in a, being in a group, you, you have to, it, it's not about just I, it's about we, and you have to almost be, you have to almost, sac you, there's a lot of sacrificing. You know, in a group you. that you have to say, okay, oh, I really want to do this, but yeah. you know, yeah. it may not be the best for what's all here. So, um, but I think the, you know the fact that we've been able to communicate over the all, over all the years. Um, at the same time, I think we also, by being a group and knowing that we have to always focus on what's best for the group, we also have allowed each other to have our individual space because sometimes in a group you can lose your individuality, mm -hmm. and that's why we've allowed each other to, you know. Uh, whether it's working on solo projects, whether it's really like, you know, speaking your, your, your opinion, you know, I want to do something, to, you know, totally, you know, left field. I mean, we, we, none of us have really ever tried to hold each other back. That's great. And uh, so I think that's helped us as well as, believe it or not, having fan base. A Absolutely. fan base that has, you know, yeah. keeps coming and buying the records and want to hear us. That's, the, the, at the end of the day, the glue that keeps it all together. I mean, we just adore them. Now, during the event, the guys also previewed several songs from their upcoming album, which is slated for release later this year, and they also showed a teaser of their documentary, which is scheduled for release in 2014. To watch more of our interview with the Backstreet Boys, head on over to Clever Music, where Misty Kingma has more. In the meantime, I want to hear from you guys. Are you still a fan of BSB? And if the guys were to collaborate with any other band or solo artist, who also emerged from the 90s, who would you hope for? I'm thinking I would love to see Britney Spears in the studio with the guys. Or what about Christina Aguilera, maybe Jessica Simpson? Or are you into the Backstreet Boys on their own? Let me know your picks and your thoughts in the comment section below, or you can let me know by sending me a tweet. And then before you head out, hit that subscribe button if you have not done so already. In Hollywood, I'm your host, Katie Krause, and thanks for watching.